Hey guys, this is Callan LF with another episode of Mock Talk. So today I'm talking about Strix, my uh, Toa character who is going to be one of the main characters in Bionicle Undercover. And uh, I'm not sure if he's Toa of Water per se. I guess you could say he is. I haven't really decided on that. But you know what? Alright, I guess it's canon. He's a Toa of Water, whatever. Blah, blah. So let's just talk about this guy. As far as uh, his build goes, let's go over that real quick. Uh, the history with building this character, I uh, this figure I designed uh, in 2015, early 2015, when uh, the new Daredevil Netflix series came out. I was watching season one, and I don't know why. I was enjoying the series. It was pretty cool, and I really liked the first season. Uh, but I felt the need to build something, and so I was, while I was watching some of the episodes, I started building, and uh, the main inspiration for building this character was uh, the chest piece. I had gotten a few of those hockey chest pieces in, uh, I got them in white, green, and blue, and I wanted to build a mock with them, and uh, I, uh, I ended up going with the blue and going for a blue color scheme because... Green isn't as easy to do um, with uh, CCBS shells, and I guess I, I decided to be lazy with the limbs a bit, so I went with the, the blue for that reason. Also, the white's a bit boring, so I didn't do the blue for that. Although, I ended up using my white version of this uh, on my uh, Bionicle mask that I entered into the uh, mask contest for uh, that they did last year. So, I'll probably review that too soon uh but yeah uh request my bionicle mask and i'll talk about that i know you guys have been requesting my lightsabers so i'll get to that too i'm gonna do a lot of pre-recorded ones but that's not related a lot of pre-recorded episodes coming but uh let's get back to the review uh so yeah that's pretty much his build history i ended up building him and uh the figure was coming along great i really liked his torso and uh i settled on the blue ruru as a mask just because I thought it would look cool and uh, and I had it lying around so that's what I did uh, his waist was initially different I uh, changed that more recently to make it look because before it was very thin because I was trying to go with the dark gray and blue color scheme as much as possible but there were still the black jump ball joints anyway so I probably should have just done this and used the black Vaki piece from the beginning because now it's uh, it actually be his his waist actually feels kind of like it's uh, this it works with the torso because before it was like it was literally just this piece uh, but it didn't look as ugly as it would if it was just the Vaki piece unarmored but that was the way it was before and that was kind of bad it was like it color wise it didn't look bad but uh, it looked kind of weird so uh, yeah that's for him as far as build goes let's talk about uh, his uh, character history um, I named him Strix because the first thing having to do with this character was me uh, naming him uh, off of a racial slur, uh, which I did not realize. I uh, came, I uh, had names for Larix and Tahu, of course, but I didn't have a name for this guy uh, for all, I've had this guy for the whole year lying around and I never came up with a name for him. So I had to do it for this and, uh, and I came up with the, I thought of the racial slur name. And I thought it would be so good because I was so stupid. I didn't even know it was a racial slur. Uh, then I make the video announcing the show and talking about it. And people are like, well, whoa, you racist. You're terrible. And I'm like, oh, no, I didn't know because I'm an idiot. Sorry. Uh, sorry if I offended anybody. And uh, yeah, it kind of annoys me that that's a racial slur because if it, if it wasn't, I would like that word as his name. Uh, but anyway, uh, before I make myself sound even more racist, uh, let's get on to the next part of his history, which uh, was uh, came to casting him because I did something that I haven't done much with this channel. I uh, did a public uh, viewer casting call to voice this character, and I got a few different auditions. Not as many as I expected, but I did it over email, so that's probably why. If I had some other easier way, I probably would have gotten flooded. Uh, but uh, because of the email, um, uh, I got a few different auditions, and uh, I liked a couple of them. And But the one I liked the best was from Tyler. 
Uh, Tyler Jospino, Hospino, I don't know how to say his last name, I'm sorry. I, it begins with a J, but I'm not sure if you pronounce it with an H or a J sound, I don't know. But So I'm just going to call him Tyler. I got Tyler to voice him, and uh, he did a good job. And the main reason I wanted Tyler to voice him, instead of someone like myself, because I actually originally thought about voicing this character for this show and having kind of a funny Tahu dynamic, lazy dynamic with lyrics, an uptight character dynamic with Callan, uh, like Callan kind of had uh, in the past and other things. He's kind of uptight in Callan and Davix. He's uh, a bit uptight in Galator Report because he works on that. But, uh, and that's the main reason I didn't end up voicing him because I felt like I'd done that before, even if it was to a little bit of a lesser extent because Galator Report uh, had Callan mixing in the bullying because he was bullied by Set all the Galator all the time. Uh, not said, and uh, and then in Callan and Davix, Callan's just kind of a boring character. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, the yeah, that's the main reason I didn't voice Strix, uh, because I wanted to bring a fresh new voice, so that it wouldn't sound like the same old me recycling the same old thing. I didn't want people to just immediately associate oh a Callan character. I want people to think of this character as someone new, not just me doing another character who's blue this time instead of red so yeah uh that was the reason behind that so hope you that's really all there is to say about strix i hope you enjoyed this episode uh and i hope uh see you guys tomorrow uh for the next reviews uh keep requesting uh i need all of the suggestions you can think of i will get to re recording a bunch of pre-recorded ones as i already said earlier um, including probably the mask, the lightsaber, a lot of different things that you guys have requested, some weird ones, and of course my Makuta Emperor of Darkness one, which will be coming soon. So thank you very much for watching, I'll see you guys tomorrow, take care, and uh, love you, bye!